Saying no to a state takeover of the York City School District, protesters chatted outside the county courthouse during the latest takeover hearing today. Inside, more groups asked a judge to stop the proposed takeover from going forward. News 8's Portia Johnson has more. Save our schools! Save our schools! The students' voices were not heard in court on Monday, but they were heard outside. It's on the judge and people inside that we do care. We are committed to this cause. Students from William Penn say they are committed to fighting off a possible state takeover, which includes converting the schools into charter schools. And inside the judicial center, parents, teachers, and the school board asked the judge to intervene and prevent the takeover from happening. The fear is this could lead to job cuts. This is it's a part of who we are. The teachers, the staff. Even the administration, this is a part of who we are. The district is faced with this issue due to poor student grades and budget troubles. I believe that um, there can be more done to improve, but I also believe it is it's improving now. Students believe charter schools will not improve the academics, instead, take away the programs they value the most. If they take away our programs, we won't have a band, we won't have an orchestra, we won't have a choir. And I'm involved in all three of those. The Department of Education wants to appoint David Meckley, who already oversees the district's financial recovery, to oversee the state takeover as the receiver. But some of the students feel Meckley is the problem, not the solution. I think the first thing that needs to be done is getting a recovery officer that, that actually, uh, that actually we, can, we can support and that we know that actually cares about us, the students. Mr. Mr. Meckley has not done that. The students are hoping their concerns will get the judge on their side. Already, they're getting the support <laughs> from the community. In York, Portia Johnson, News 8. And the next court date is scheduled for Thursday.